had a little disconnect there in part two. So I'll come back with part three. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Monday morning, I'm up at the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, up by Wiggins Pass on the south side of the pass. It's getting very hard to make your way around here now. The only easy way is gonna be when this tide is super low. Tree branches washed up along the shore. Well, wow. look out Wiggins Pass into the Gulf of Mexico. See, this water is very muddy even up here. That's with the tide coming in. That gulf is really churned up. waters <laughs>
got that one little cloud up there. That one little wispy white cloud. Floating by. That bench was originally further down the beach. I think it was Tropical Storm Ada. Washed it up here, washed it into the pass and around the corner and up onto the beach. At least it didn't get washed away. has changed. I'm going to make my way back to the boardwalk in Area 4 where I started this morning and head back to the car. So if you want to stick around for the journey back, you're more than welcome to join me here. Burgers or something. Ouch. Uh. Hey, Rob. How are you doing? with a name I can remember. Wow, look at this boat. Look at this nice boat coming out. That's a beauty. A beauty, a beauty, a beauty. Look at that. 
Now that is a boat. I can smell the money. Wow. How'd you like to be heading out on that? How'd you like to be paying for the fuel for that? <laughs> Forget that. That is a nice boat. I couldn't even guess what a boat like that costs. There's definitely a fleet of boats heading out of here now. Let's watch the boats. There's several boats coming out. Blue, all three blue and white boats in a row heading out. Let's watch the boats heading out. Another one behind that one. All beautiful. All really nice. Look at that. I really like the color of that first one, that bronze color, the brownish bronze. That was cool. That's a beaut right there, another beauty. Here comes another one. One more coming. One more heading out. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, there's one of the swim buoys out in the middle of the pass. Ah. I was wondering where they all went. I didn't see any washed up on the beach. There's one out in the middle of the pass.
and get around here while we still can. What's up, Joe? How are you? Wait, wave to everybody so they know I'm not talking to myself. Hey, I'm not that old yet. <laughs> I'm not that old. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Just hanging out. Uh, so, I'm actually a little cold today. You a little chilly? Yeah. It was, it was kind of cool this morning coming out. I'm shocked. It's just so beautiful. Boy, I guess this is where it's like all winter long, huh? Yeah. Just, you wake up in the morning and it's beautiful weather no humidity it's it does get beautiful here oh. that's why everybody wants to be here yeah we're the lucky ones <laughs> yeah it's like you, you spent your whole life here boy that is really lucky i'm only here like 10 months now i think sure has changed hasn't it yeah up here oh my Man. gosh what's next <laughs> I, heard, I heard they're gonna replenish this whole beach yeah they're going to redredge the pass and they're going to... Um, and they're going to put the sand at Wiggins? Supposedly 300 feet out that way. They're going to oh. dump it offshore. They, whatever they're going to do here, they're going to move it and oh, it's going to go all the way to that sign there, approximately. Really? Yeah. Just here? Just in this part. The so they're going to dredge the pass and put the sand up here? Yeah. Well, that... What I heard is when they dredged the pass, they did a straightaway. And that's what caused this. So now they're going to go in and turn the pass into an S. An S shape. It, it always was an S in the old days. Okay. You kind of weave your way out the pass. Yeah, and by doing the S, I guess that prevents the current from well, that's neat. washing it. So. I wonder when they're going to do that. I just heard they're doing it. You know, Katrina with the cleanup crew has talked right. to the people. And I guess it's through the, the department. It's going to be multi-millions of dollars. Oh, yeah, it costs a fortune. Well, they're just getting ready. They started today re-nourishing the beach down yeah, in Naples. Down so This really needs it, though. It's unbelievable. So they think the sand's going to go all the way out there to yeah, that marker? 300 feet out. 300 feet out. That'll be interesting. We could sure use it. Yeah. The only problem is it's going to bury all that Spanish treasure out there I was looking for. <laughs> Good. Well, maybe they'll pumping up under the beach oh, here. Maybe, yeah, maybe when they pump up the yeah, sand. Yeah, we'll find all the coins up. and jewels. <laughs> that'd be fun. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, that'd be interesting if that really yeah. happens. So. I know it's expensive. Yeah. So. I think another alternative, get everybody in Naples to come with a shovel. And everybody, and start digging the path. Just shoveling. Ah. It'd be a little cheaper. Well, that's an idea. We'll... We'll see if we can get some volunteers. Yeah. You're full of good ideas. I know. You're paying attention in class at Beach Bum University. Yeah, I sure am. <laughs> All right. Yeah, have a good day. I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah. Well, that is interesting. Joe heard through the grapevine that they're going to dredge the pass again. Seems like they dredge it every couple of years, and it just fills in. Apparently they didn't do it right the last time. So they're gonna re-dredge it. And this time, last time they pumped the sand up all along Barefoot Beach up there. This time they're gonna put it back here along the edge of the pass at Del Nor Wiggins. So, what Joe heard, now I'll remind you, this is just rumor. This beach is gonna be extended 300 feet out, which is like, a, Maybe almost like out to that marker out there. See that marker out there? Way out there. I don't think it's going to go that far, but that would be cool. It's definitely well needed. I know the fishermen are going to like it. And then they could put in, fix the boardwalk here and put a new boardwalk in. That would be awesome because this whole north end of the park is shrinking fast now. That would be cool. All rumor. I haven't heard that for a fact. So, but it's a nice rumor.
this was all beach. This all used to be beach where I'm walking. This was all beach. All this was beach. The old boardwalk here, what they chopped off, used to come out onto the beach. The beach was, oh my Lord, out to here, at least out to here, all the way out around. Be nice if they get it rejuvenated, re-nourished. That would be sweet. That would be cool. That would be awesome. No dolphins. How are you guys doing today? Notice any changes? One, one or two? One or two? <laughs> it's crazy. I was just talking to one of our friends. He heard a rumor that they're going to, they got to redredge the pass again because they did it wrong the last time. They just went straight instead of like a S curve. So they're going to redo it and put the sand all back here. And the beach is going to, he said they, they're talking about going out 300 feet with new beach. That would be good. Back like it used to be. Yeah. So that'll be fun to see if it happens. I don't know where the money's coming from, but pretty soon that will there is not gonna be any beach over here. No, you won't be able to even get around. It's sad. Did you walk up there this morning? Uh, last night. Yeah, there's nothing. Have a good day. Hey Margaret. Good morning. We're all getting caught up. I know, there's a lot to get caught up on. It's been what, you know, four months, five, six yeah. months? I was here in July. Oh, all right. That's right. You came down. <laughs> Some of our lady friends getting caught up. They haven't seen each other for several months. Man, this water feels awesome. No clue what the air temperature is now. It's supposed to get up to around 80. I'm guessing it's getting close to that if it isn't. It's right about the same temperature as the water. bounced around here by these little waves. All right. Whoa, tripping over the branches. Not watching where I'm walking. Not watching where I'm walking here. Let's... I think we can get right around here. Some surfers. I don't think the waves are quite big enough for the surfers anymore. They're getting getting little rides. Look at these waves crashing into the trees here. Look at that. That's powerful. There's a couple big waves that came through here. You don't want to be walking along there.
Now there's a little lull here. Wow. Here comes a big one. Yeah, maybe not. Let's see. Well, I wouldn't want to be on a surfboard get thrown into these dead trees. There's two surfers out here. comes one of them. And there goes one of them. There comes another. Nope. False start. Let's see if we can catch one of them. Let's see if we can catch one of the Ooh, there was a good wave there. Another one. See if either one of them can ride a wave in here. Seems like some good ones. Ooh, that, that was an osprey, a oh, pelican. Just saw a bird in the corner of my eye. Take it easy, Joe. It's a cool place over here. Boy, these waves, there were some big waves smashing into yeah. the tree here just a few minutes ago. Really amazing what happened over the weekend, you know, the whole beach was covered. Yep. Yeah, Always fun. something different. I know. That was cool. <laughs> I'll see you later. Take it easy. Well, I don't think anything's gonna happen here with our surfers. Ah, uh, here we go. Just as I said that a wave. Here we go. Let's see. The guy on the left. If he gets one. There he goes. Boom. <laughs> Not much. Not much. Better than nothing, though. Yeah, head back to my car. Morning. A little too risky to walk around there. Stay up here on dry ground.
a reminder, just a reminder, the North End closed, closed to swimming, swimming and waiting. Anna in her red sweatshirt. Well, it is gorgeous out here. Great, great weather to work on your suntan. Lots of serotonin in the air too with these waves. Less beach along here. Starting to see a few more clouds now out in the Gulf, little thin, wispy clouds, just the little wispy guys. And there she goes. Back down to the beach. And that doesn't feel good. That water feels great. Just look at that sky. Look at that blue sky. Man, oh man. That's incredible. Absolutely gorgeous. I wonder if any tortoises are out. I wonder if any tortoises are out. Are they tortoises or tortai? I don't see anybody over here. Don't see any tortoises crawling around. Love this little view from back on this trail. The view of the beach. It's getting kind of overgrown. Pretty soon there isn't going to be a pathway to the bathhouse here. <laughs> Love that little view there through the trees, through the sea grapes. I get lost. I get lost sometimes out here on my beach walks where I'm taking photos and talking to people. 
I just get memorized, mesmerized, memorized. I get mesmerized by the beauty. There's a whole bunch of shells right here under my feet. Also, man, I can't wait for this water to clear up. Look at them all down here. Right along that ridge line. Tons. Tons of shells piling up. Tons of them down here. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, I can feel just hundreds and hundreds of shells under my feet in the water. Awesome. It's my little feathered friends taking a break. Oh, do you? Do you put nah. them on the internet? Facebook. Facebook, yeah. yeah and they dad, go on YouTube, My too. dad and I watch them every day. Nice. So you, you come here on vacation or you live there? I have a condo, but you know, like, we watch them. You always here every day, right? Almost, yeah. So I go to other beaches, too, once in a while. Yeah, that's why I told him. I said, go and uh, say hi on the camera so you're on the you're, uh, Oh, okay. Can watch well, say hi. hi. There, there you go. <laughs>
Oh man. Try and get shots of birds, but people just keep walking through them. People just walk along the beach with no concern for the wildlife. Well, it's that time. Time to call it a morning. Thanks for hanging out with me. Didn't get any stars during this live feed, a starless live feed. Not a whole bunch of people hanging out. It's getting late. But that's all right. I had to walk back to my car no matter what. So I might as well do a live feed. Remember, if you're liking what you're seeing, tips are always appreciated, especially this time of the month when all the bills are due. If you'd like to send a little token of appreciation, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post. Thanks for being a friend. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Help me spread my mission of bringing awesome people like you together one beach walk at a time. Well, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my friends, tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. <laughs>